here I stand. Isolated in the midst of a growing crowd. Eyes around me surround me and I can feel the glare. I can hear a hum, a murmur, a whisper. Something about a fool. Wait, it's a chant. No, it's a deafening chorus. Chaos, chaos, chaos. The mob takes aim and arrows their fingers at me. Right from birth, your life is misclaimed. It's written on your birth certificate. It says you belong to a nation. You belong to a nation? What does nation making represent? Who does it serve? Who doesn't it serve? How well does having an Australian birth certificate serve non-Australians? How well does it serve the first peoples of this land? The truth is, as long as nations have borders and self-interests, you don't belong to any nation. You are part of so much more than that. Nations are under the delusion that they are Lord of the land, and its inhabitants. Have you been fooled? French poet Anatole France penned a tongue-in-cheek observation about this law of nation states. He remarked that the law in its majestic equality forbids the rich as well as the poor from sleeping under bridges, from begging in the streets, and from stealing bread. As a Christian, when I make the statement that Christ is the Lord, what I'm saying is that love is the Lord. Love is the law of my life. I'm called only to be obedient to the nation state where its works are that of love. Historian Howard Zinn is well remembered for identifying that historically the most terrible things, war, genocide and slavery resulted not from disobedience, but from obedience. Love causes forth to disobey systems of violence and oppression. And we are so easily caught up in these systems. People tend to defensively state things like, but I haven't done anything. I am not the one cutting the aid budget. I'm not the one polluting the oceans. I am not the one pulling the trigger of that gun. And so on. But this statement, I haven't done anything, is perhaps at the root of the biggest problem of all indifference to the extent to which love extends beyond ourselves. Indifference to the law of love. Speaking out of the experience of apartheid South Africa, Bishop Desmond Tutu asserts that if you are neutral in situations of injustice, you've chosen the side of the oppressor. 
if an elephant has its foot on the tail of a mouse and you say that you are neutral, the mouse will not appreciate your neutrality. The mob is watching. The mouse is waiting. We have the courage to stand up and follow the law of love. Perhaps you inspire others to find this courage too.